Hey guys, welcome back to our fix in that tala. <laughs> guys, uh, I am having one of those weeks where I'm so, I don't know, how do I put it? Like I need help. Guys, you know, life is such a mess. Not a mess, but it's like it's so chaotic right now. As I'm currently speaking, um, I'm in the lab. I came to do some work, and uh, my little one is with me. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, I brought my little one, and um, okay, but he's not with me in the lab. Uh, he's with a colleague of mine. So yeah. Um, this is just, it this is something new for me. I've never done it before, but I guess desperate measures really call for, desperate times call for desperate measures. And this is just one of those days. Um, I drove with him, came with him, just the two of us. And yeah, like background. I did not have someone to babysit him today. Hence, that's why I brought him. And sure, guys, it's just sure. Anyway, uh, I'm doing this video simply because I want to document this because I'm not really feeling my best, but I just felt like I wanted to talk about something in this line. But um, at least let me give you guys proof of or a background of. What I'm going to talk about, I think, the upcoming weeks, yes, because honestly, being a mother, I mean, I'm a mother like second time around, but being a mother just in general is not easy. We go through a lot of struggles, and we always, oftentimes, we try to coat it, you know, we try to make it look like we've got it all together, like everything is fine, even though things are not really fine. Like now, I feel like I'm at my, I'm at my lowest. And <laughs> I just, it's not easy. It's not easy, guys. Uh, I don't want to sugarcoat. I don't want to make it seem like everything is all perfect. We go through struggles. We go through so many things. And society allows us or makes us think that we need to just have this front like everything is perfect or not perfect but everything is okay and then we just have to you know deal with the punches but in reality no um things are not fine and i feel like it's time that we normalize just showing or expressing ourselves like if you feel like you're not at your best show it it's okay like it's i, I just feel like at this point it's really okay if you're not at your best it's okay like if you're struggling, it's okay. If you don't have a babysitter or a nanny, it's okay. If you have to take your kid to school, I mean like to work, it's fine. With some exceptions, of course, but it's okay. Like if you're really struggling mentally, like physically, everywhere, it's okay. Like the pressures that we go through, guys, just to get back in shape fast, to just, you know, start with work immediately after like three months, like And then you find people who will be like, no, girl, you, <laughs> you have to look your best. You need to do this and you need to do that. That's just how it is. That's just motherhood. Yeah, ne. it's a lot. I could vent right now because I'm really going through this right now as I speak. Like, I, I could go all day. But we'll have to talk about this one of these good days. We need to really have a discussion around this whole thing because... Guys, it's sure. And I'm and I know for a fact I'm not the only one going through this. I know for a fact. Apart from just nanny issues or baby issues, like there's a lot that we go through, but we are just I guess it's it's just the thing of kucha oshwanga no like state sewer, but nay. But anyways, um for now, I'm just gonna just gonna carry on with what I came to do, finish off, 
and then I guess head back home and let's see how tomorrow will be because I don't know if I'm still gonna come with my baby or if I'm gonna find a babysitter I guess and I'm saying babysitter because I don't have a nanny and I've been using or I've been having babysitters for the past I don't know how many months yes I don't have a nanny as we speak I'm only getting a nanny next month so it's something that we need to really address so many things and oh gosh yo with all these new adjustments hi uh, guys so yes um yeah i'll take you along the day and see how it goes i mean yesterday was already hectic and i didn't really vlog that much because again i was I was just not at my best but i just felt like you know what i'm going through so many things right now and uh, if i'm to talk about it without actually showing you proof it just wouldn't make sense so i just felt like hey this is me i'm going to show it as much as i'm really <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. so i'm gonna show it yes so we'll see how it goes today and tomorrow and i'll give you guys an update of if I've managed or not, but otherwise, yes, um, stay tuned, yes, and let me know what you guys think, like, do you feel like society has put so much pressure on new mothers to get back to work, to get in shape, to just get everything in their life in order to just make it look like everything is all perfect and all, you know, you know, bliss and all that, like, what do you guys think, because really, guys, it's just... It's a lot. It's a lot that we go through, but we just don't want to talk about it. But yeah, let me not let me not make this video too long. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just let's just engage, guys, because I, I I'm sure I'm not the only one going through this. So yeah. Hey guys welcome back um, it's friday it's a rainy friday and uh, oh my gosh i think i need to drive now so yeah today is much better i had an episode yesterday uh, but today is better i finally got a babysitter so i'm taking the kids over to their aunt's uh, place um just here in commerce down so yeah sure. i guess yeah, today's much better, so yeah. Bye. Check you guys later. Morning. How are you? I'm an early bird today. Morning. How are you? Oh, I oh okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I don't know what there is. Anything is possible. Yeah, ne? <laughs> this one. Yes. Uh, today is the 18th. Yes. 01. Do you have a lovely weekend? 
Thank you so so much. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright. Luckily, I managed to drop off the kids this morning at their aunt's place, and uh, yo, shoo, 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 shoo. like I'm really thankful for her because had she not been available, I don't know what I would have done. Because now both Delta and Alpha are not like they're gonna be home alone. You know, um, Delta the school is having a long weekend, so they're not going to school today. It's a Friday, by the way. So they're not going to school today. So literally I have two kids that needed babysitting. And uh, I managed to get the aunt to help out. And yeah, I'm so grateful. So yes, um, right immediately after I dropped them, I went to go get my parcel. I went to have breakfast and you know, went to do some errands. You know what, within just that time frame, eh? after dropping them and coming to work i was able to do so many things which i was supposed to do within the course of the week uh, which just shows that if you can just give me like two hours two hours there's so much that i can do you know so i'm just glad that i am able like i've done what i needed to do for the week within just that hour or you know two hours that i got yeah so yeah yesterday i almost had a i almost broke down because i had an episode yeah i i i brought alpha to work which was not planned i didn't even want to do it i was actually thinking maybe i should just stay home and just put in leave but then again who knows put in leave today and then tomorrow again you don't find someone it was just it was just a lot so i i was forced to do it because like I said, desperate times call for desperate measures. And yeah, it was just one of those days. Um, it wasn't a productive day, to be honest. I can be honest with you. It was not productive because I guess, I think he could sense that he was in a new environment. Like poor boy was crying the entire day. Like he was crying. It's almost as if he wanted people to know that there's a baby in the building. Like I even brought a stroller from home and he just he just didn't want to be in the stroller. He just didn't like he was just he was very he was very cranky. He was very cranky and I I couldn't even do half of the work that I wanted to do yesterday. So yeah, it was just one of those days. It was just one of those days. And yeah, I don't and I don't wanna do that again. I don't wanna do that again. 
although they do say that it's normal for you to bring a child to work but i just i don't believe in that i don't think it should i don't think it should be normalized Oh. Sorry guys, that was my call. Brendan, Brendan, buy Ranky Ward! Anyway, where was I? Gosh. Anyway, so what I was saying is that um, I was able to really do most of the stuff that was supposed to be done within the week, just within that time frame or hour that I got after dropping the kids. So yeah, um, it's challenging, you know, it's really challenging. Bringing a child to work is not easy. And I will say, yes, I was saying that I, I don't think it should be normalized. But then at the same time, something needs to happen or some leniency needs to be given to parents who are unable to find babysitters or, oh, but then again, uh, it's just gonna be another story, but anyway. So what I was saying that I was talking about normal, normalizing, uh, not normalizing this type of um, situations, but I think leniency should be given to new mothers, you know, just new parents in general. But all I'm just saying, maybe hopefully one day we can get like leniency to allow parents to bring the kids at work. Not to say that the kids should be in a working environment, but I'm just saying maybe there could be like an area where you just have to, I don't know. <laughs> this is just wishful thinking, but but yeah, maybe have a, a, a what? A play area or a, a playroom for kids to stay while parents are working. I don't know, guys. This is just wishful thinking, but yeah. Yeah, because it's not easy. It's really not easy. And you also can't miss work because of that but i mean yeah so yes i was saying that he was so cranky yesterday like he was just crying like he was literally trying to tell people that he, there was a child at work that's how much noise he was making like he was crying cranky like he like no it was it was just not good i go into half of the work that i was supposed to do yesterday and yeah it was it was a very unproductive day for me very unproductive um i also couldn't go to the gym because of that it's just yo see you now i understand why some parents or some mothers put a lot of stuff on hold because not to say that the kids limit you but situations really can limit you like they can really not allow you to do what you need to do you see um it's just it, it's just that you know gone are the days where we were raised by our neighbors our aunts our cousins our older cousins you know nowadays you hardly find somebody to do that for you you can't even leave your child next door i don't know why though things have changed things have changed you can't even like everybody's working people are going to school like it's hard unless you have a nanny you know and for me I don't have a nanny I'm only getting a nanny next month and I also don't have a fixed babysitter so we just depend on either cousins nieces or whoever is willing to help us on the day when we go to work and that's why I think like yesterday I had that episode where unfortunately there was no one who was able to help us out that's why i was like ah, there's no way let me just go to work with this child because i cannot take leave because you don't know and even as I, as I speak right now i don't know who is going to stay with this kid next week luckily it's um it's a long weekend um and i'm only gonna go to work on tuesday so that means I really need to find somebody within this weekend to help me out so yeah it, it's just thing it's challenging guys just being a parent being a mother in general it's just challenging and uh, we always want to make it seem like we've got it together like everything is just fine but it's not we are I guess we expected to you know make it look like everything is good but 
in reality it's really not good uh we do struggle we do really struggle and um especially for working mothers especially for working mothers. It's, it's, it's it's a lot it's i a lot. am on a mother support group and i'm only realizing now that there was a time where one of the mothers came up with an idea that if you ever need like a babysitter for the day that one of the mothers should just you know offer their you know their help and i'm and i don't know why i didn't think of that i didn't i don't i i just okay yeah i don't know why i didn't think of it but yeah you know we, we and we need more of such um organizations or, or, or support groups where really mothers can really be assisted where they can even if it's just like for two hours because look what i did within that hour i did so much i had breakfast i went to pick up a parcel i went to run some errands you know like there is so much that i did within that hour you know and it's just i was productive you know it was really productive and and i feel really good today and i feel better compared to yesterday so yeah like i think and, and there are mothers out there who who are really just you know to themselves you know they, they just go through the most and they don't really ask for help but guys really mummies if you need help please don't hesitate to just ask somebody you know join a support group you know just and and don't feel don't be don't, don't feel bad if you don't have it together as well it's okay it's really okay like we are all going through so many things like we're all going we are all in this together to be honest yeah we're all in this together and uh yeah i wanted to showcase this because i was at my lowest i mean not say my lowest but i was not at my best i was struggling like i almost broke down and um and i don't want to just talk about the challenges that mothers face on a day-to-day -day without really showing you proof that this is what i went through you know like this is really what i went through and this is what i did to overcome it i didn't want to do that so at least you guys get to see what i went through and uh yeah i mean share your stories guys let me know what you guys think like like am i the only i'm sure i'm not the only one but how do you guys juggle being a working mother or you know a, 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 a mother that studies like how do, how do you guys juggle like how do you guys juggle life you know with a child with a newborn and all this stuff with children because even if i'm talking about my experience with the with the with the with the with the, with the young baby there are parents out there who have older kids and they're still struggling you know to find somebody to stay with the kids at home you know and so forth like how do you guys really get it together like how do you juggle all this at once like because it is not easy it is not easy but it, it just there is just comfort when you know that like like they you, you 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 find comfort when you know that there are other people out there or there are other mothers who are going through the same struggle as you it really brings me comfort to know that i'm not the only one and that it's okay because i was quite embarrassed yesterday really when i brought alpha to work i was quite embarrassed i was like yo i i think i even stayed like 20 minutes in the car just contemplating like what am i gonna do what am i gonna say should i pretend like i'm all happy and i just brought the kid to work or what because i was like should i just go in there with you know with a mask and a good child oh guys or should i just go in there all happy like guess who's here <laughs> so I, I i really was contemplating you know but it's yeah but it's okay guys it's okay if you're struggling it's okay you know this thing of saying fake it till you make it yeah i mean it's all good but yeah yeah I mean. but yeah we'll see how next week goes because i still don't have a babysitter i'll have to ask one of my other relatives yeah i'll just have to we'll see but nonetheless guys um i am in a better space now like i feel better like i'm, I'm okay now so i can at least go to the gym after work just to feel good because yo i miss gym yesterday and and i don't want to miss it today again you see those are the things now if i miss gym twice in a row what does that do for me i'm gonna be so annoyed and so uh -uh, mm -mm. 
so yes see like i just needed i just need today just to do my stuff be a productive mother and just be a happy mother you know you know what i'm saying hope you guys get me on this but yes um you can even tell that my mood has changed guys i was not okay yesterday but nonetheless it's all good uh tell me what you guys think do you guys also struggle like new parents out there like how do you guys juggle all this how do you guys deal with all this do you fake it till you make it do you have someone who can assist you or what do you guys do like do you support groups how do you manage you know raising babies or kids yeah so yeah let me not make this video too long guys um hope you guys enjoy it uh don't forget to like share comment and subscribe uh yes and uh put on your notification bells guys so that you guys notified whenever i upload something new otherwise if you don't you miss out on on new videos so yeah um i'll see you guys next time